Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver. The Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, the primitive forces of law and order sometimes moved too fast for justice. A posse often became a lynch mob as soon as the victim was caught. And it was this violence that the masked rider of the plains opposed with all his strength and courage. It was he more than any other man who upheld the American principle that a man was innocent until proven guilty. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the river! Tell us waiting for us! I'm Silver Hoy! It was still early in the morning. A man and woman stood beside a prairie schooner on the banks of a swift-flowing stream and... Dan, are you certain we can get this wagon across the river? Give me another one of them rawhide strips. Looks like mighty rough water. Grab hold of this rawhide, Harry. I gotta wrap it around this log so as it'll help float the wagon. Maybe we ought to look around for someplace easier to cross. Upstream, maybe. Hold that rawhide. I am holding it. Land sakes, what for are you so anxious to get moving across the water? There ain't there. no... Per- that ought to hold it. A good big log on each side of the wagon to float it. Got everything closed up inside? Huh? Did you fasten down the trunk? Is the powder up where the water won't wet it? Oh, sure it is, Dan. But you ain't answered me. What's the rush? Oh, it ain't nothing. I... Oh, it ain't nothing at all. Come on, Sarah. Up you go. Now, Dan... Now, don't go bothering me. Keep a hold on the wagon. I'm riding this team down into the water, and we ain't stopping for bumps. Now, get set to travel, you ponies. Smack off that brakes, Harry. Here we go. Get up. Dan, you're going too fast. Hold on. Here's the water. Dan, we're going to turn over. Get up there. Dan, head him up the stream. Up stream. That's what I'm doing, Harry. That's what I'm doing. That's it, boys. Keep going. Get up there. Come on. Come on there. Keep it going there. Get up there. Oh, Dan, old Crowdy, for a minute there. I reckon we were heading straight for drowning. We're halfway across. Got to keep pointing upstream, though. Current's pretty strong. Them logs is floating as pretty as a duck on a pond. It'll be worse before it gets better. What do you mean, Dan? We're the all river's right. pretty strong. Look there. Oh. Along that bank at Fair Boils, it's moving so fast. Oh, it's sure going to be the death of us. We'll be up to it in a bit. Then we'll see how we can go. Oh, Dan, there's a bunch of riders coming down the hill behind us. I see them. Crowdy! Dan, it's the sheriff. It's the... 
Lord, unless they're shooting. Them bullets ain't getting near us. They're too far but away. Why would they shoot in the first place? Posse's all a shoot, Sally. Posse? Is that a posse? Dan, what are they coming after you for? Hold on, Sally. You're acting mighty mysterious. What's the sheriff want with you? Why are you... Hold gonna... on, we're hitting the rough water. Get up. Get up. Stop, oh, Dan. They want to fool. Get up there. Get moving. Dan, this time we're sure going to turn over. Dan. I got you into this, Sarah. we got to get out. He's coming. We'll help you. What in thunder is that? Dan, it's a masked man. He's coming into the water. The masked man on one side and the sheriff coming from behind us. He's coming into the water. Shoot him. Shoot. I can't do nothing but hang on. Come on, boy. Come on. He's here. Water. I'll throw you a rope. Get away. You'll never get out alive without help. Grab this rope. I can't fight the current. You'll get washed away. Throw you, Larry, and Tonto. Grab those ropes. We'll help you. Fasten them to the wagon. Mister, you better hurry. We're getting swept downstream. Whip up your horses. Come on, Silver. Pull them up, Scout. Come on, Silver, old boy. We've got to reach the shore. Mister, you sure saved us from ending up under ten feet of water. Tonto and I did what we could. Well, that white horse of yours done plenty. Ain't that right, Dan? Huh? Dan, where on earth are you looking? Ain't you grateful? Oh, oh, yeah. Mister, you and the engine saved our necks. We take logs off wagon. It's ready now. Well, then we can get moving, I reckon. You'd better let your horses rest a bit. That fight in the river wore them out. It's a good idea. Dan, do you figure... Dan. Uh, him look down river. Dan, crowdy, land sakes, why don't you pay attention? Uh, just looking for something, Sarah. You're looking for the sheriff and his posse, aren't you, crowdy? Why, uh, who says so? You don't have to say it. It's obvious. We saw you taking a chance crossing here. We saw the posse. Oh, uh, that's right. He must have been in quite a hurry. Mister, he is, but don't ask me why. Now, look, mister, Easy, I'm not... Easy, crowdy. It's plain as a marked trail. The posse would be here right now, only they had more sense than to attempt the crossing you made. Even without a wagon, it's bad. They went downstream and picked out a better spot to cross. Then come now, Kimo Fabi. Yeah, that's the sheriff. Gosh, look at them ride. They're in a hurry, all right, but... What in the world? That's the wagon. Get those horses. They may run away. I got one. Grab the other pony. Him jump that. Easy, boy. Steady. Get the reins, Hunter. Now look at them. They're loose for the wagon. The harness busted off out. We have this horse. Never mind about the other, Mrs. Crowley. Mr. We got That's Never mind. Let's see what the sheriff wants first. All right. Where is he, Mrs. Crowley? Sheriff, what's going on? What's this all about? We come after your husband, and we went to Pronto. He must be hiding in that wagon. Jeff, you go... Just a moment. Now, mister, you stay out of this. Lift your head so as I can get a good look at you. We don't like engines, and we don't like... Hey, look at that. Mask man. You kept your head low so as the brim of your hat would hide that mask. So that's the kind of company Dan Crowdy keeps, is it? Hand over them guns. I prefer to keep my guns, Sheriff. Uh. Yeah? Well, I'm telling you. Unbuckle them gun belts and hand them over. I'll make you. I wouldn't slap leather if I were you, Sheriff. You hate me. And I'm drawn right now. That's far enough. <laughs> oh, look, masked man, you beat him to the draw, hands down. Yeah. I ain't moving, mister. Tonto and I had nothing to do with this. Why I'm masked is my own business. You're willing to call it quits on that? You're holding the cards, mister. Nobody in posse shoots. All right, Injun. Mister, you can put your shooting irons. We we won't start nothing. Very well. You're after Crowdy, Sheriff, not me. Remember that. Yeah. Now, Sherry, you didn't answer what I asked you for. Where's that sneaking husband of yours? Hey, Sheriff. Sheriff. Hey, what you got, Jeff? Come here and come a runner. Over here. Side of the wagon. Hoof marks. Yeah. Heading upstream into the woods. So that's where Curdy went, eh? That's right, Sheriff. He was on one of the horses from the wagon. We didn't see him when the cut of the wagon was in the way. Why didn't you tell us, Mrs. Curdy? You didn't give me the chance. Horse, him run away. Yeah. Sure. Whatever he done, Dan ain't the kind to run off. The harness broke loose and. Harness broke, eh? Jeff. Yeah, Sheriff. Sure. Take a look at that harness, will you? Well, take a look, Sheriff. That harness didn't break. Let me see. Yeah, I figured that way. Here, take a look, Mrs. Cruddy. The harness is cut. Sure, it's cut. That coyote seen us coming, so he cut one of the horses loose and went off. But he won't get far. You're, you're going after him? We sure are. 
All right, men, we'll but look... But, Sheriff, you ain't told me. Nobody's told me. What's Dan done? What do you want him for? We want him for murder. Murder? Yeah, murder. All right, men, upstream. Shoot on sight. Oh, 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 murder. Murder. Tonto. Uh. No, Dan wouldn't hurt nobody. What's wrong, Kumasabi? We're oh, taking a hand in this, Tonto. Get the horses. We're going after that posse. Any signs? We can't have lost the trail already. Let go. This way. Huh? Tanner's right. Notice that broken branch? Yeah. Mister, I didn't figure you on the engine was doing us any good joining up. But now I reckon you're all right. And why not let Tano and me go ahead? Huh? And we can scout the trail better, I think. Sheriff, they sure can. Here are more track. All right, mister. Go on. We'll trail after you. Go on, Silver. Up ahead, boy. Get him up, Scout. Any more signs that Crowdy passed this way, Tonto? You look, you see. Yes, here's a hoof mark. Over here, another broken twig. Not right, Kimosabe. Tonto, you think Crowdy committed murder? No. Him, good man. Yes, a good man. You and I agree on that. There's something wrong, Tonto. I knew it when Crowdy made the horse a stampede. So I'm cut the traces. You see him? Yes. Tell her we've got to locate Crowdy. We do that now. No, I mean without the posse. Unless Crowdy has a chance to explain, he'll be hanged for this. Uh, what we do? Crowdy's been trying to cover his trail. You notice that? No, uh, him try, but not do it. Then it's up to us. We've got to lead the posse astray. Take him off trail? You think we can do it? Mm-hmm. Maybe so. All right, Tutter. Just follow my lead. When we're far enough off the trail, we'll go on our own. Well, mister, which way do we go now? We've been heading away from the river for quite a spell. Don't seem to me like Crowdy would head in this direction. I don't see his trail. Huh? You see any sign, Tutter? No sign, Kimasabi. What? Well, you mean you lost the trail? Crowdy didn't come this way, that's certain. Well, I'll be a... Mister, you're foolish. You let us off the trail on purpose, didn't you? You think so? Sure I do. Me and the boys. Sheriff, let's take these hombres in. Grab them. We'll show them. Take them in. Mister, you show Jane for us. Now uh, we're going to... Now, Tutter. I got the engine. Grab the other one. You not got Tutter. This way, Tutter. Come on, Silver. No, you don't, mister. Pass them, Silver. One side, Sheriff. Get the way. We can't catch him. Shoot. Shoot after him. Get him. Down, Tutter. Get the little scout snake. Uh-huh. We get down. Some bullets not hit us. Come on, Silver. Stretch those get legs. Get down, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, Rain up, Tonto. We'll never locate that trail going at full gallop. And with night coming on. Huh? How'd he come this way? Yes, I see. That's his print. And the goal, this way. The sheriff won't be able to catch us before dark. He'll have to wait till morning to pick up the trail. Not right. As soon as we find Crowdy... You can we... pull up, mister. I'm right here. Crowdy, what are you doing? I backtracked, mister. I circled around to watch my own trail. I got you covered, you and the engine both. Crowley, we came to help you. Nobody helps me, mister. I'm a lone wolf, Savvy, and I don't need help. Now, hold on. There's no need for those guns. We know you didn't commit that murder. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something. You and the engine both. I did do that murder. What? Sure. The sheriff's right. He's after me for murder. And I done murder, me and nobody else. And now I got to take care of you. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, while trying to help Dan Crowdy, learned from his own lips that he was guilty of murder. Meanwhile, the posse had lost Dan's trail, and as night fell, returned to the bank of the river and Mrs. Crowdy's wagon. All right, you fellas. Take care of the horses. We'll bed up here for the night. Figure we can pick up the trail come daybreak? Yeah, take my horse, will you? I'll hobble you, Sheriff. Sheriff. Mrs. Crowdy. Sheriff, I... Did you... Anybody been back here since we lit out? Did you... Did the posse catch Dan? No, we would have. Only that mask on me let us off the trail. And then him and the engine run out. We'll catch him in the morning, cold trail or no cold trail. And all three get the end of a rope. I can't understand it. Dan's my husband. He wouldn't shoot nobody. He's a thieving, back-shooting skunk. He's my husband. And the quicker you forget him, the better. That ain't possible. You mean you didn't know what went on back to town? All I know is Dan come busting in early in the morning. He said the wagon was all loaded and we was moving on. Leaving in a hurry, weren't he? Dan always was talking about heading further west. But every time I asked him why he was skedaddling so fast, he slipped the question. Yeah, he was making tracks, that's what. That's why he didn't tell you. Where was he around midnight, huh? Why, I don't know. He went out with my brother. Yeah, he went to the gambling place with him. Somebody was shot there? Higgins was shot. That no good gambler. Sure he was a no good gambler. That don't mean he ain't protected by the law. It wasn't a fair fight, neither. Jenkins was shot in the back as he was walking down one dark corner of Main Street. Dan wouldn't do that. I seen him. I seen both of them. Both of them? Who else was there? The other fellow's in jail already. Who do you think it was? Dan was out with your brother. Uh, you mean you got my brother in jail? I sure have. But why? On the he... county, he helped murder Jenkins, too. No. No, it can't be. My brother and my husband, no, they didn't well, murder they him. they sure did. And get this, we got your brother. And as for Dan, he figured he could pull out, Savvy. But come morning, we'll get him wherever he is. If you're planning to shoot us, Crowdy, you'd better do it now. The night's half gone already. You and the engine sit right where you are. You've got gun. Yeah, and if you move, I'll use it, Savvy. Suppose you fall asleep. A gent with a murder on his mind ain't likely to shut his eyes, mister. I'll be awake plenty. You insist you murdered Jenkins. I said so, didn't I? Uh, You say that many times. Yeah, and I'll keep right on saying it, because it's true, see? Would you mind telling me again, Crowdy, just why did you kill Jenkins? Why, because he cheated at cards. Uh. What's that for? The last time you said it was roulette. The time before that, it was Kino. Now you say it's cards. You don't seem very certain of your reasons for shooting this man. If you did shoot him... Listen, mister. Keep your mouth shut, Savvy. I don't go for all them questions. I said I killed him, and that's that. Perhaps I don't believe you. You don't, huh? I think you're shielding someone. You're taking the blame because you think someone else killed Jenkins. That ain't true. I ain't. Who is it? Nobody, I tell you. I done it. I shot him. Now, why don't you put that gun down? Stop your talking. I I said stop your jawing. I said all I'm going to, and it's finished, Savvy. We're staying here till morning, and then we're going to start riding, the three of us. The posse may pick up our trap. I'll handle that. What I said about using this gun on you to hombre still goes. We could overpower you, Crowdy. You'll get a bullet if you try. Come morning, we're going to start riding. And if that posse gets too close, I'm going to have to shoot you. That's all there is to it. I'm going to have to shoot you. That's right. You and the engine keep riding in front of me, and don't try nothing. We go long river, Kimasabi. Don't try anything till I give the word, Tonto. I heard that, masked man. Don't start nothing no time. That posse is sure to pick up our trail, Crowdy. If they do, you're both dead. Then you'd better start shooting, Crowdy. Huh? They have picked up our trail. You're loco. Am I? Just stop your horse. All right, all right, I will. We'll pull up. But if this is a trick, you ain't getting away with it. I got my eyes on you, too, and I'm you not You won't gonna... need your eyes, Crowdy. Just listen. Tonto and I heard them at least half an hour ago. Horses. They're way off, but That's still... That's the posse. Uh, we leave heap plain trail. The posse. They're coming after me. Well, come on. We can get away if we... Yes, Crowdy. Just as well you stopped your horse. I can hear them from both sides. They got us circled. Uh, only place to go is cross river. Yeah, yeah, cross the river. I can make it, maybe. Then we'd better hurry, Crowdy. Perhaps we can hide here along the riverbank. Hide nothing. It could be done. We'd use some of those hollow reeds, get down below the surface of the water, and breathe through the reeds. Ah, 
That old Indian trick, Kimasabi. Oh, no, we ain't. I don't trust you fellas one bit. What I said before still goes. The posse's getting close, so I'm going to shoot you and cross the river myself. And have them hear the shots? <laughs> What's the difference? We're on the trail, Sheriff. We'll be up with Crowdy pronto. Yes, miss. The way we split up to close in from both sides this way, we'll corral him sure. I tell you, we got them three coyotes in a sack. We're drawing the string to close them off all the time. It won't be... What? Two shots. Two of them. Yeah, they come from right up ahead. Can't be our boys. No, sir, it's Crowdy. It must be. Him and them two hombres had a fallen out. Come Let's on, go. Vince. Head for them shots. Lead the way. We're with you, Sheriff. It ain't far. Keep riding. Yeah, never mind the noise. The rest of the posse is heading in from the other side. Who do you think done the shooting, Sheriff? You think it was the mass man? Not for my money. I bet there was Crowdy. I'll bet you he shot them two in the back. Like he done to Jenkins? Sure. Hey, look out. Here come a couple of horses. Grab them. They went right through. They're making tracks. Sheriff, that there was the white horse, the masked man's horse. His saddle was empty. Both saddles was empty, Jeff. Maybe we ought to catch him and find him. Let him go. We with the men, not the horses. I guess you had it right, Sheriff. Crowdy must have plugged them two hombres like you said. Sure. And we'll get Crowdy. Hold up. Rain up. The rest of the posse. Straight up, everybody. Pull up your horses. Slade, you sure nobody will pass you? Not us, Sheriff. Then he's got to be around someplace. The river on one side, and we closed in from both angles. Spread out and trample through this brush. Crowdy ain't been seen to his horse either. He must be. Sheriff! Hey, it's Crowdy. He's heading for the river. He's trying to make a getaway, that dog going fool. Crowdy! Crowdy, turn that horse around. I ain't coming back. Come on, boy. Hey, get your guns out, boys. Crowdy! You're perfect target. I missed you that time, delivered, Crowdy. Swing that horse around to the whole posse will sling lead at you. Sheriff, I'm not coming back. I ain't just talking, Crowdy. Don't be a fool, Dan. You're done for. Come back. All right, Sheriff. You've got me. Uh, you're acting sensible like Crowdy. Bring that horse of yours up the bank. Come on, hurry it up. Take his gun. Look, Sheriff. There's two bullets been fired from this shooting iron. Yeah. So you killed the masked men and the engine, eh? Yeah. You seen their horses, huh? That's two more murders to chalk up again, you. Where's the bodies? Oh. Come on, speak up or I'll slap you again. Where's the bodies? They, they fell into the river. Oh, Slade. Yes, Sheriff? Here, Jeff, we'll take a look-see around. Maybe we can locate them two bodies if Kern ain't swept them away. You and the rest of the posse can head for town. We put Crowdy in the calabash? Yeah, put him in with his brother-in-law. The two of them can... Sheriff, you ain't locked up Clem. Sure we have. But he had nothing to do with the shooting of Jenkins. I, I done it, not him. <laughs> That's the same thing the other fellow said. Trying to protect him the way he tried to protect you, eh? Well, you're both guilty, Crowdy. You both swing. Take him away, Slade. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Come on, Dan. Let him be, Slade. My wife's brother. You hit me, Sheriff. Listen to him, Sheriff. The fool. Yeah. See you back in town later, Slade. We'll be waiting, Sheriff. Well, we're going to start looking for them dead men, Sheriff. Uh, the masked man in the engine. You said. We ain't we... looking for him. Huh? They're dead. We ain't bothering. I just wanted a chance to talk to you alone. Looks like our little scheme sure worked fine and dandy. Sheriff, there ain't nobody knows it was you that shot Jenkins. Nobody. Excepting you, Jeff, and you ain't talking. It was sure a slick stunt to pin the killing on them two. Slicker than a greased pig. I had to kill that gambler. I owed him more money than I could pay. And there's something special you gotta do. Yeah? Just to cover up, Sandy. It wasn't time last night, but Jenkins has notes in my handwriting showing I owed him that cash. You want me to mosey over to the gambling place and get them notes? You got it, Jeff. He keeps them in the strong box in his room. I'll get them. Get rid of them, Sandy. Now, let's go. We'll head back for town. I want to start holding trial on them two just as fast as I can. <laughs> I can just picture Siri Crowdy weeping and hollering in the courtroom right now. Now, Sarah. And you didn't need her, Clem. I know you didn't, Jim, my brother. Sarah, maybe you better leave this here court. I reckon you'd better, Sarah, if you can't control yourself. You gotta remember, we're holding a trial I here. I can't leave, Slade, but I'm trying to keep from acting up. It's just that I know sure, that. Sure, we understand. We're downright sorry for you. But law's law. So let's get on with it. Lynn Jenkins ain't all. Crowdy here got dry gulch two other fellas. That man smith on the engine. You can't let them go. they got to swing. This mass man... Talking the... about me, sir. Put in thunder. 
Grab him! Grab him! First man reaches for a gun will be sorry. Who's running this? Uh, mister, you'd better put them guns back in your holsters. We're conducting a trial here. That's why I'm here. I have important evidence. You can't be alive. Crowdy shot you. Your buddies went in the river. Tonto and I were in the river, but we weren't shot. We were crouched under the surface, breathing through hollow reeds. Crowdy, you agreed to trust us. Yeah, I fired them shots into the air, mister. You said you might be able to do something. It's too late for that now. It isn't too late. Listen to me. Neither of these men shot Jenkins. They're both innocent. Shut up! Quiet! Mister, you got proof of what you're saying? I reach your hand over my shoulder and in the pocket there. I need both my guns. You got a wad of paper. Look at them. They're notes made out to Jenkins. What the... Don't move, Sheriff. Who signed those notes? Well, I'll be... The Sheriff signed them. He owed Jenkins money. They're the Sheriff's notes. There's your man. The Sheriff killed Jenkins. Tonto and I heard him on the bank of the river. The sheriff owed Jenkins money? He sure did. You got some explanation, Sheriff? Sweet, I, I didn't do nothing there. You fixed for us to be blamed what you done. Now, wait. I admit I owed Jenkins money, plenty of money, and, well, I kept it a secret on account of me being the sheriff. It, it wouldn't look right. Sheriff, there's a lot of things we didn't like about you. It appears we should have thrown you out long ago. You are... Now, wait. I admit them notes, but you can't prove it was me killed Jenkins. No. Just a moment, and it will be proved. All right, Tonto, bring Jeff in here. Well, we come now. Jeff, you... Help us, Sheriff. The masked man caught me going through Jenkins' strong box. Like you said, he done it, Slade. The Sheriff killed Jenkins. Engine, you can take your gun out of Jeff's back now. We got all we need to know. Sheriff, you're under arrest for murder. Dan! Dan, you're free! Sarah, we're both free, both of us. Mister, I sure want to thank you. You saved me and Clem from paying for a crime somebody else committed. Forget it, Crowdy. But after this, just remember that covering up the truth... Hurts more people than it helps. In the long run... All right, you won't raise. I got you now. It's the sheriff. He's got a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. I'm getting out, Savvy. Don't nobody try to stop me. Don't nobody draw. Oh! You see that? The masked man shot the gun right out of his hand. We got you. We got you now, and you won't try no more tricks like that. You gambled for the last time, and you lost. Thanks to the masked man. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.